Hello, what's up? So today, uh, I am going to be analyzing, uh, Weefies, uh, this guy, you should subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be analyzing his video, this Minecraft video will read your mind. Uh, when I first watched it, I thought it kinda looked suspicious. But now that I've done some, like, math and some logic thinking, I think I can, like, kinda figure it out. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna make you watch the entire intro. Basically, what it is, uh, there's 25 squares. You start on the stone in the very top left, uh, and you can only do moves by moving either down or to the side. You can't move diagonal. And he's gonna tell you how many moves to do, and then he's gonna eliminate blocks that he thinks you're not on. Uh, and, like, for example, maybe he'll say, like, we start on stone, he says, like, three, so I'll move to the slime blocks and path and pumpkin. He's like, I don't think you're on stone. Then he's gonna think I move five and whatever. So, let me just skip ahead. Uh, it's loading. He's just uh, telling how it's working, so give it one second to load. Well, this one's just obvious. Like, you start at stone block, you do one move, there's no possible way you can be on stone. So, this is one of the easier ones. Well, this is just obvious. I mean, uh, let's say you're on purple here, then you have to move to the lapis, then uh, let's say there. So the thing is, e like both from slime and from purple, it'll take an even number of uh, turns in order to get to pumpkin and five is odd. So this is just another of the ones that's obvious. So yeah. Uh, well, again, this is obvious. Uh, he is, uh, five, again, is on, so uh, you have to stay on purple, and since uh, this time you said an even number, like, you can't be on here, and yeah. Uh, okay, so in the first movement, you're either a slime or in purple. So the amount of movements it takes to get to barrel, let's do this uh, together, it's pretty easy. So from slime, it's uh, lapis, one, tree, two, leaves, three, magma, four, uh, red clay, five, and barrel, six. So that's an even number, right? And uh, so here, uh, from the purple, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's an even number. So, uh, since he already, like, there was two even numbers that he mentioned, 
and one odd, if you make those together, that's still odd, right? So there's no possible way that he could be at barrels. So that's an explanation. Okay, so he's removing leaves, and again, let's do the odd and even thing. So you start from either slime or a purple, and leaves is one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then one, since there was a five and a one, that's six, so that's two even, that's an even number. And since you have two more even numbers, that would still make an even number, so there's no possible way you could be on leaves. Okay, so again, even odd. This is what I'm going to be doing this entire thing. So from slime to lapis one, trees two, uh, cobblestone three, glowstone four, and uh, blue stained glass five, uh, and same thing for purple, it's still five blocks. And uh, so uh, five is odd, and since it, last time we had an even number, and this time we had to move six, and that's even, and you can't move uh, uh, even amount of times to get to blue stained glass, so that's Uh, just so you know, this is just caught my eye. Uh, it is actually impossible to go back to where you started since you start at one, so you have to go to the left, and then there's no possible way to get back since, yeah, it has to be an even number. Uh, so again, one, two, three, four, and then same thing, one, two, three, four, and since it's an odd number, that's odd, right? So again, same thing. Uh, so uh, since last time it was an odd number, uh, odd plus one is equal to even, and purple and slime are an odd number away from lapis, so they obviously can't be. Okay, so uh, since slime is removed, uh, you had to move again an odd number, uh, so that can't be. And now I think I'm going to do kind of a deep analysis. So let him, I'm just going to remove slime. So just like that. So we can definitely remove. We can definitely remove the hay block, right? Because that can't be the last block since you can't get to path block. So that definitely cannot be it. It also can't be magma, observer, um, the whatever nether block that is, uh, sticky piston, and uh, the uh, wood block thing. So we already eliminated that entire uh, kind of curvy area. It also can be um, crafting table, or glass, or endstone. Actually, it can be endstone. So we have eliminated, uh, so path one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine blocks. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we have very few blocks to go, right? So it's getting pretty obvious. Uh, sorry, it's a bit laggy. Uh, again, this is obvious. There's uh, no possible way you can be on red clay because, uh, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I literally just explained it. So, uh, again, same reason. We just eliminated a whole bunch of blocks. So it can't be bad. Because uh, if it is, uh, if it's Observer or the weird nether block or a sticky piston or wood or hay or glass or crafting table, it can't be, right? So we have only um, one, this st weird stone brick. Uh, and you all, uh, and you also can't remove cobblestone. So you have either a stone, the weird stone brick. Uh, you either have, you also have redstone, and you have gold. So those are the three blocks that have to be there. And oh, also same thing for glass, right? So it's those four. And I predict that. The order is, um, so it's going to first remove the little curve, the little half. It'll also remove the crafting table and the sponge. And it'll also re remove the end stone. And it'll remove the path block. So that's my prediction. And same thing as, as I said, it's going to remove the little hat, just as he called it, which is funny. And uh, let's continue. And again, so uh, let's do this again. I'm sorry. Uh, so they definitely can't remove glass, which will be the final one. And actually stone brick, I think, could be removed. Uh, that weird stone brick. So that's on me. Um, so and cobblestone will also have to be there till kind of like the very end. And I think that's it. So we have that little L shape there and of course gold and redstone because yeah so again he has to remove the hat then he has to remove the end stone he has to remove the crafting tables he has to uh, remove the hay and then the stone brick because they don't have to belong there. And he has to, in general, remove the entire quote unquote hat. So there are, uh, there will be remaining cobblestone, redstone, uh, the gold and the glass. And then it's just obvious.
So again, I made a correct decision. That was on me, my bad. Uh, so chiseled stone bricks, uh, get out of here. Uh, obviously, they don't have to be there. So the only ones that have to be there are again gold, uh, glass, uh, redstone, and uh, yeah. So again, removing the hat, same thing. So again, removing the hat, blah, blah, blah. Again, it doesn't have to be there, only connected to one rock. Same thing, connected to only one thing, doesn't have to be there. So again, same thing, cannot be cobblestone because then the log will be separated, it cannot be redstone since uh, the cobblestone and log will be separated, it cannot be gold because the crafting table and glass will be separated, and so it's between log, glass, and crafting tables. Again, only connected to one block. It's not actually separating something from something else. So. Same thing, connected to only one thing. So, um, now this, um, it definitely could not be gold, right? Because that would separate glass and redstone. So, uh, it was between glass and redstone, right? So, this is just guessing, right? Uh, personally, me, when I saw this video, I clicked on it because I'm a fan of Weefy's. I like his videos. And uh, so, I looked at it and I actually and I ended up actually on redstone. So, I was a bit disappointed, but... It's not his fault. There's not a definite like way to know that he or not on redstone. So yeah. Uh, so, sorry about the ad. The last one, again, was just a cool play by Weefies. Again, I very much like his videos. Uh, so, the gold as number one uh, first place, yeah. Uh, so, this was kind of from a mathematical standpoint. Um, 
a very complicated way of solving this would be the way I did uh, from the like start ones because I couldn't start immediately eliminating blocks, right? So uh, from the start, uh, it would just be to calculate like how many steps it takes to get from stone, uh, I mean from either slime or purple to the, to the gold, and yeah. And then if it's an odd number, it would you, he would have to give an even number of I mean an odd number of steps. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit nerdy. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, it's already been a long time. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.